Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio here, back with another Mafia City video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how the Family Treasure event works. So, let's get started. The Family Treasure event is a gathering event that takes place every two weeks. Players need to be at least Mansion 19 to be able to join this event. On entering this event, you get to choose from 16 time slots from 6am to 10pm city time. Each round lasts for 1 hour and has a maximum limit of 2,000 participants. You can apply up to 10 minutes before the start of each round and it costs 100 gold to apply. Once you apply for a time slot though, it cannot be changed. Once you join the event, you're required to gather resources from the fortified mansions on the map. Your gathering speed will depend upon the level of the fortified mansions you're gathering from. The level 4 fortified mansions at the center of the map give you the highest gathering speed. Using a gathering speed buff or the getaway driver skill during this event will not increase your gathering speed, so there's no need to use gathering speed buffs during this event. Now there are a few special rules for this event. If you lose a turf battle, your turf will not burn, but it'll be moved to a random location immediately. Also, all battles in this event will only result in wounded troops and you'll have infinite amount of hospital capacity, so that means you do not get any losses. Your healing speed is also greatly increased during this event and healing does not cost any resources. Another important rule to be aware of is that the gathering points will only be added to your score once your troops return back to your turf. They won't get added when you recall them, so you want to make sure that you use the beck and call skill a few seconds before the event ends because it takes 3 seconds for your troops to return even after using that skill. There are cumulative rewards that you get based on the amount of resources that you steal during the event, and then there are ranking rewards that everyone who joins the event gets based on their rank during the event. Even the ranking rewards for the last 1000 players are pretty good, so I think it's totally worth joining this event even if you're not gonna play. If you're a non-spender, then you'd want to aim to get at least 8 to 15,000 family treasure points so you can get those Hitman coin production boosts, since scoring 50 to 100,000 points is almost impossible for non-spenders. So that's how the family treasure event works. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.